Um, I know what my fondest convention moment was. My fondest convention moment was. You can't find me on the camera. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you win. Um, was it uh, in, uh, where's Graceland? Memphis. Tennessee? Yeah. I was in Tennessee, I was getting picked up by some unknown person, again, like I always am when I was traveling doing Xena conventions. And this woman comes and she picks me up. I have my purse and my bags. I'm with a friend. And, uh, I have, to, I have to go to the bathroom, I have to pee. So I hand the purse to this person who just picked me up and I looked at her and I go, don't go through it. I went to the bathroom, I was just joking. She looks at me like this. I was like, ooh, know your audience, we <laughs> throw that shit around. So I'm like, whoa, I don't know what that's about. So I go and I get my thing and then I come back to the hotel room and this woman is, um. She's like, it's supposed to take care of me for the weekend, like, make sure I'm okay. So she's like, do you want anything? Do you need anything? And I'm like, she's like, if you need anything at all, you let me know. Never say that to me. <laughs> Just don't, because I will freaking think of something, and I did. I was like, we were on the, like, I don't know, 10th floor, and I, I'm like, do I need anything? What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I look out the window, and I'm like, come here. You see those flowers in the front? I want those purple ones and white ones, I don't want the pink ones. But I want those, and I want a really big bowl of strawberries. Then her face sort of goes blank. I don't get it, because she asked! So we went, I'm like, oh, let me make sure I get everything I need. That's what I need. That is what I was kidding. So, she's like, alright. So she leaves. She wasn't really, like, fun and games to begin with. Do you guys know who this was? I'm not done yet. You must be quiet. All right, let me finish. So, so, she comes back up in the room, and she's got the most evil grin on her face, holding the flowers with the roots and the dirt attached. And she's like this. with a huge big bowl of strawberries. I look at her, I don't know what to make of her, I'm like, dude, man, she's like really messy. She's like, I didn't know she did opera. I was like, wow, she's got no sense of beauty at all. She's like, wrong. So I go out and I put the bowl of strawberries out for you guys. And I put the flowers out for you guys. So when I sign, there's something people can take and, and there's something pretty to look at. Did that win her over? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Not that I meant to, but I know I was in such a doghouse with her. She takes uh, me and my friend to Graceland. I, I don't know why. You would think she hates me already. But she takes me to Graceland. And we're in line in the little cafeteria, and I'm like, can I have three peanut butter and banana sandwiches? And she's like, no, I will get it. I'm like, no, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. She's like, you're going to get me a sandwich? I'm like, yeah. She's like, all right. <laughs> You're not so bad. And maybe someday you'll be my best friend. Maybe. Aww. Aww. I felt awkward and uncomfortable, and I was like, I want to get off. And. And then, when I, when I finally left, I thought, something that I just wanted you to know, and I don't need you to know the details of it, but something that I wanted you to know, because I, I've got so many letters, and so many people have talked to me about how much Xena meant to them. How that show's affected them so deeply. Um, that show meant more to me than I can possibly say. That, that show, at that particular time in my life, um, I was having probably the hardest time I had ever had in my life when I got booked for that show. And that show really, 
more than I can ever convey to you saved my life. And so I am so grateful that it was here for me to move through all of my emotions and I was lucky enough to get paid for it and have people receive it and receive me as being a part of the show and giving that energy back to me as well. So, I don't know how to say this without sounding so schmaltzy, but you guys helped save my life too. And I want to thank you for that. my heart and I'm going to go. Thank you. 